Welcome back. Now, when you talk about homegrown brands in India, there's one name that comes through shining, and that is Titan. For the kind of brand extensions they've had over a period of time, starting out in the mid-80s with watches, bringing in jewellery, eyewear, perfumes, and not just creating your own little brands, but also to be able to get in other marquee names from abroad, some of which compete with your own brand. So when you talk about marketing strategy, how does it all tie in? That's the question that I've posed uh, to the company's managing director, Bhaskar Bhatt, someone who's been in the business for a very long time. Mr. Bhatt, as far as the headwinds are concerned, and you have been talking about the general headwinds that we are seeing in the watch business right now, not least of which coming in from uh, what the government has done by way of fan requirements as well. How much is that uh, hurting the business as it were? And uh, apart from the other headwinds, perhaps you should put that in context for us. The primary reason for the decline in a way of our first six months, the you know, sales performance was something which hit the jewellery business, not the watch business. Correct which was to do with the regulatory requirement uh, in golden harvest schemes and so on. But other than that, consumer sentiment was weak. The watch business itself has seen some challenging times in terms of growth, volume growth. And uh, again, there we've seen different uh, uh, growth rates between our brands. Uh, for example, our brand Sonata has done well, fast track. Uh, not as well as it was doing in the past, but nevertheless growing uh, more than Titan. Titan right. brand growing in value, not so much in volume. The impact of e-commerce right. uh, and not on the category of watches. It is overall because there was so much discounting in that space that there was a shift in spending itself. Uh, and many categories, you know that uh, in the e-commerce, the e-commerce players have been discounting very heavily so it's a combination of many factors but right? looking at e-commerce it's not something that you can wish away discounting is not Absolutely. going to go away very quickly in that kind of market mr bhat what does a titan do well i don't think you can separate titan from e-commerce as in e-commerce is a reality and uh, it's a channel of sale it's a, uh, the internet is a space which consumers are more and more uh, experiencing brands products uh, uh, in therefore it's a reality and Titan has uh, already uh, started work uh, uh, on the digital experience, on uh, trading uh, in the, on the net. Uh, we have uh, several partners with whom we work as well as our own um, uh, e-commerce site, titan.co.in. Right. No, but what you're up against is the discounting element. I think How do you that compete with that? It's a very short-term phenomenon. I mean, to be able to buy it, Titan watch at a price lower than Titan would, could have made it is unnatural. It's, it's not possible. It is not sustainable. But at this point in time, in this kind of scenario, Mr. Bhatt, you're in introducing a smart watch. And that is by itself a game changer, perhaps, or a huge risk. How do you see it? Well, I think it is uh, a long term view that the company always has taken and that is what Juxt, that is where Juxt is sitting. It is similar to what I spoke about, about the internet uh, behavior. That is, consumers, the next gen consumer, and they are not different. It's the same consumer who's progressing to, um, you know, for the digital experience on the internet. Connecting your watch to the smartphone is what Juxt does. The only difference is from long research, from long understanding of the Indian consumer, we are of the view that you need to provide the Indian consumer with a good looking watch. Right. So about the timing of it, of course, is important. I want to understand the marketing rollout plan that you have for a product of this kind. Uh, what's the thought process over there? Where are you positioning this brand now? Price uh, perspective, it's about 16,000 to 20,000. So it's it's high from uh, the average Titan price, but then Titan itself has watches in the in that uh, 10, 15,000 price point Titan brand itself. Uh, however, the smartwatch, the so-called traditional smartwatch, if yes. you were to, <laughs> how smartwatches have been introduced, those are much more expensive. Right. But if it's from, not so much the volumes game right now, Mr. No, Bart, it's not. If it is uh, not so much the margins, because you're saying that you're coming in at an affordable 
level and you have this partnership going with HP to offer the technology on Juxt. Tell us uh, how exactly this works uh, when you look at the numbers. Right now we are looking not so much at numbers, we are looking at penetration. The mission is really to get people to adopt this version of the smart watch which is a good looking watch which has technology enabled. So when you brought about the change, I was trying to get at uh, the popularization of a certain technology, a certain look perhaps, a certain trend as it were. That was a different market. Today the market has changed. A lot more people are a lot more aware about uh, the various brands and what they really bring to the table. In that kind of competitive environment, how do you hold your own for everything that's associated with brand titan to keep it intact, even as you introduce newer and newer brands? And you've brought in a lot of international brands as well, right? There is the FC UKs, etc. of the world that you have brought in. So to kind of be able to marry existing brands, existing titan brands with the many other brands that you're out there in the market with, how do you create marketing strategies that are unique and yet they all tie into the mother brand? Okay, I think the mother brand Titan, uh, it's no longer, it's, it's the business, it's a category business, watch as business. So let's say FC UK or Tommy Hilfiger that you're talking about, it's about uh, um, increasing our presence and giving to the Indian consumer what he or she wants without actually owning all of it. We own brand Titan, we own brand Fast Track, we own Sonata, we own Xylus, we own Nebula, but it can't go on like that forever. People in a category like watches, much like in shirts or shoes, brand loyalty is not about buying the same brand every time. Right. You, you have maybe five, six Titan watches and then you stray because there is something else that you're looking for by way of brand. Do you see the marketing mix really changing yes, right now from the absolutely. time that you started the business with a brand like Titan Juxt as Completely. well? Completely. How has it changed? With this brand, we'll be more active in the social media. Mm -hmm. We'll be on television as well, but the kind of promotion we are doing even on television to this target audience is very different. The kind of advertising we are doing and activity in the social media is very different. That is, you know, uh, it, it's, uh, it's emerging as a very important space and Titan has done it well. Perhaps, I mean, there's a long way to go yet. Other brands are more active, but Titan has certainly done a good job with fa Fast Track, for example, or right. even our Tanishq brand. Right. So we know that space and with Juxt, we'll get more active. There has been a transformation of the, con the new age consumer has moved, has realized. I mean, let's take the large IT industry, you know, large employers. That's one segment, very strong with Titan. Of by way of consumers. By way of consumers. Right. And for them all these regulations are, you know, it doesn't matter to them. The mobile Indian, young Indian woman for whom Tanishq is the brand of choice because that's the only brand which is available in your hometown or in your work. Which are the segments that are working out uh, the best for you and how do you think they are going to do for you now? Jewelry is back in growth. Iver was always growing well for us, but it's a small business. We've got to go get growth back in watches and uh, this technology play is going to help. But watches has always responded to innovation. And, you know, the innovation we brought in Raga, Fast Track, consumers have responded. So the growth drivers change every few years. That is the beauty of our business model because we have several categories. Sure. And therefore, if one business pay uh, faces headwinds, another business makes up and so on. So, right. But overall, if you ask me, it's still challenging times because of consumer sentiment. So we could have grown at 30% uh, but we are growing only at 25 or 20. Now, you have to deal with that, you have to deal with, deal with those uncertainties. So you have to do other things, you have to manage costs, you have to manage inventory, you have to get more agile, you have to be 
more, you have to be leaner. Right. So all of that is work in progress, and it has been for a period of time. But talking about businesses, and this is something else that you've taken on, and I'm going to quickly ask you about Vistara as well. So as far as aviation goes and Vistara's prospects in 2016 go, uh, how are you seeing it? Like the business flying high. <laughs> no, I think uh, it's early days for me to comment uh, in any sensible manner. But uh, it's early days for the brand, and therefore growth is going to be natural. Mm -hmm. The brand, the airline is not yet uh, complete in its offering in terms of uh, routes. So every new route will see growth. So looking forward to great things uh, from Titan as well as uh, Vistara, it's great to have you with us uh, on the show, Mr. Pat. Thank you.